Hey everybody, welcome to So With Joe. Today we're picking up where we left off last time, working on my thigh patch on uh, on my 20 plus year old pairs of jeans, or pair of jeans. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Today we're talking about upcycling. Love the upcycling, love stories like this. Um, today we're coming out of Hamburg, Germany. And um, interestingly enough, their sanitation department has started uh, a, a repair and resell program so basically sanitation thrift things that have been thrown away that were discovered by sanitation workers or things that were donated to either you know either way either way um, and these found or donated items get a facelift they get cleaned they get repaired tested you got to make sure everything works um, and then resold. I think it's a fantastic idea. One, uh, the program started in 2001, and it was started by a sanitation worker who I guess just got tired of seeing all these useful items being thrown out. I can completely understand that, and decided to start something. That's the most important part, I think, that we need to focus on here, is he decided to start something. And just by deciding to start something, it grew. So in 20 years, this program has grown from him doing everything. to employing 70 people uh oh that's not gone well thread torque <sighs> that happens seems with this heavier denim thread the thread binds on itself I think it's like a weave of a couple of threads and it kind of sticks to itself sometimes and then does that and it's kind of a kind of a bummer but it happens if you have a way of fixing that let me know I think what my mom taught me years ago was that you would put um, this thread back through a needle and then just kind of keep going. And um, I'm not quite sure, not quite sure how to do that. So I'm going to start over, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to backtrack a little bit and overlap, and hopefully that'll hold it all together least well enough and like like I've always said with these these jeans it's not it's not that crucial it's not that important it's I'm not aiming for perfection and where are these things it's not that important stopping doesn't get you anywhere two of the themes for this channel. It's not that important. Stopping doesn't get you anywhere. So this uh, sanitation program in Germany, sanitation thrift, so we'll call it,
They, uh, they now employ 70 people and have a warehouse dedicated to this. And they clean, repair, or sell everything, get everything polished up. I don't know if polished up, but touched up anyway. And every year they sell roughly 400,000 items. And they raise anywhere between three and 500,000 euro per year. So they're not making a lot of money on each item, only a few euro each, which is awesome because it was garbage. And then people can afford to buy things. Um, and when you add up all the stuff, you know, and I guess on top of paying wages and everything, they are making half a million euro a year. It's pretty pretty amazing, and I, I'm pretty sure the proceeds go back into the sanitation department so they can better trucks and whatnot, but I'm not sure how that works. That's po politics that are well, well over my head. And a, typo, a, a very typical German quote uh, from the person who started the whole thing. Uh, his, his quote, his typically German quote, is, uh, used is the new sexy. I don't know, German, German folk always seem to be talking about things being sexy, so. Just is the new sexy. That was not a good German accent. I apologize to my German friends. I haven't, I haven't hung out with them enough lately. I'm losing, losing the accent. I'm, I'm one of those people that like picks up speech patterns and and completely not purposely. I uh, just I, I mimic. Um, so if someone's speaking in a, in an accent, I, it, it'll come out in me like really hard, and it's bad because you know. I don't want people thinking that I'm making fun of them. I'm just... I just adapt easily, I guess, to, to different things. Um, it's like speaking... When I speak French, everybody tells me that I have a really good French accent. Um, you know, Manitoban gutter French, but, you know, a good Manitoban gutter French. Now that everybody knows where I am. Or where I learned where I learned French anyway. Now, I know you're probably getting tired of hearing me say this, but uh, this whole sanitation thrift idea I had years ago. <laughs> um, I was trying to figure out what I was going to do for my, uh, my next career, and I uh, thought, ah, sanitation, that might, might, might be alright, just, you know, be one of the guys on the, on the trucks, toss, uh, toss garbage bins all day. And uh, then I had the thought that I would have to throw out everything that had been thrown out. And it's absolutely amazing what people will throw in the garbage. Um, whether it's, you know, someone else's that they got angry at, that they, you know, they throw out something perfectly good, or something doesn't work once and they throw it in the garbage instead of, you know, trying to test it or work with it or do anything with it. Um, it's just... Why? Why throw it out? You know, the world only has so many resources in it. Why would you throw out something that isn't used up?
you know, I don't know, like if I if I had bought a pair of jeans every year, or some people do a few pairs of jeans every year, rather than keeping the few pair that I have going, you know, how much how much of an impact would that have had on the environment over my lifetime already? Um, you know, I got these since I was these are I'm guessing between 20 and 25 years old. So let's let's go with 20 just to to make it easy. Let's go with two pairs of jeans a year, so 40 pairs of jeans. 40 pairs of jeans. And then, you know, all the sewing material that I've used to patch from other pairs of pants and whatever, it's you know, keeps those pieces of clothing going as well rather than them just going in the in the landfill. So it's just it just makes sense to me. You know, it just seems like the right thing to do. And I can understand, you know, social norms and whatever, but I, I really think that workplaces really need to ease up on personal appearance. Like, as far as if someone has holes in their jeans, you know, it's, well, it, it was fashion again for a little while. I don't know if it still is. Uh, I don't know. thought if I was going to be a sanitation worker there was no way I wouldn't like I, I would bring home more stuff than than I would throw in the in the truck and I don't know if you're actually allowed to so it would have been just heart-wrenching every day seeing all this stuff that I just have to throw away you know it must be so hard for the guys doing that job too because like it doesn't pay great I'm sure and you you, you just have to throw away everything that everybody else has thrown away and you get to see all this stuff that you could use you know you would use were you allowed to and and it'd have to just go i think that would drive me the most insane about that job All these things you got to think of when you're trying to trying to think of a new career, and this is the the thing we were talking about um, in a in a previous episode of uh, having kids educations paid for so that they can follow their dreams rather than just doing garbage jobs their entire lives. Um, it's tough though, because you know when so many people have. The right papers and then you end up working a garbage job even when you do have an education that's that's got to be a tough part well I think we'll call that an episode pull some pins on this one and then uh, we'll say thanks so much for joining us or joining me um, I really do appreciate the time we get to spend together. And uh, until next time, keep chilling. And don't forget your cookie. Peace.